Hey everyone, I wasn't gonna make a video today, but I'm just sitting outside in the beautiful sunshine and I had something on my mind, so I thought, why not turn the camera on and uh, throw my two cents in here. When I was low, I was feeling kind of ranty, so I put on my big girl panties and started up a YouTube channel with nothing but soul. <laughs> So I watched a video yesterday, or should I say I listened to a video because the video feed got cut, which was a decision made by the people uh, in this meeting. Our governing officials, I believe, voted on it, which is pretty sad. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below for um, the video slash audio recording. I'll also leave a link for Rance Derrick's uh, views on this. He made a short video on it yesterday as well, and I really appreciated his perspective, so I'll throw that in there also. But Lindsay Shepard was speaking um, at the House of Commons regarding this uh, online hate committee that's being uh, been appointed i guess to determine how to go forward with this uh, online hate charter whatever they're going to call it and so she was just speaking about freedom of expression and the concern that really good regular people uh, that just don't have popular views are going to get caught up in um, this online hate stuff and and be persecuted or, or punished for something they haven't really done and she talks about her experience um, and how people consider what she said hate speech about uh, this transgender person in BC who was basically you know going around and suing various people and trying to cause trouble with discrimination and anyway she has been considered to be quite uh, quite a shit disturber in that field and I guess she was you know suspended from Twitter and all that so she's just explaining and and I thought it was a good point in general. I mean, she's a young girl, but she speaks very well, um, very educated and very calm, you know, and I've met Lindsay. Uh, she's really sweet and really shy and really gentle. Um, she's now a young mother. Um, yeah, I've, I've been following her since the beginning. Uh, she's a she's a good kid, you know what I mean? Um, not a good kid, a good young woman. Um, I say kid about anyone that's younger than me, which is ridiculous. I'm getting old, I shouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, it was really disturbing. Uh, they didn't respond to her her comments at all. They didn't um, they didn't address it. All they did was try to attack her character. All they did was bring up this interview that she did with someone who um, has some associations with people that are really into like the JQ, the Jewish question. Um, and I've seen the comments and whatnot on that video that she was on. Most of those people that watched it really hated her. They think she's a Zionist and all this. And she made a video countering that as well. And I mean, if you just pay any attention at all, you know, you know this person's of good character and she was just being open enough to talking on another platform. And it's nice that people want to share ideas with others um, because maybe you can convince them that your ideas are better, right? Isn't that the best way to go forward? But anyways, she just basically um, found herself on the defense and thankfully uh, she was strong enough to not take that bait and and dive into defense because that's something that I've been really wanting to focus on in a video is that lately um, conservatives and people that are have more like right-wing ideas are on the defense so often that we don't uh, play the offense we don't get anything moving forward we're just constantly dealing with attacks and trying to uh, justify you know everything that we're doing, even though we don't have to, because often we've done nothing wrong at all. Um, and you're justifying it and you end up groveling to these these people that don't want to ever change their mind about you anyway. They just want to see you as a monster, right? So these men individually went through and, and called her out on this interview and told her that she was questionable. And she said, you know, listen, my, my past has nothing to do with this. It has nothing to do with this hearing. It's inappropriate. It's been considered inappropriate in other cases. I'm not, I'm not answering to it. Oh, so you won't answer to it? No. Okay, well, I guess that's, you know, they made it sound like she was somehow bad for, for, not, um, for not just diving in and groveling at their feet. And, oh, please, sir, oh, moral, moral, moral men, please tell me how immoral I am. I, I beg forgiveness from you, the almighty virtuous ones, you know? It's just pathetic. And um, I'm really proud that she didn't do that. So good on you, Lindsay. Good on you. Um, but just the way that they went after her and going on about Nazis and insinuating that she was just this terrible person and not one of them addressed her concerns, not one of them addressed her point. All they did was attack her character. And that was it. And that's the end of, of the discussion, um, in her portion anyway. And it's really, really pathetic. Like, it was so pathetic and it makes me so angry. My blood was just boiling. You know, I just read an article about the People's Party of Canada's presence in some uh, Ontario town and how disturbing that is and how racist we all are apparently and how we aren't open to any other cultures and I mean, God, if these people just looked at our bloody platform and the candidates that we have popping up all over this country, they would know that that's not true, but of course people believe the fringe and it is what it is. So anyways, um, 
reading stuff like that, you know, you're constantly seeing people just being questioned, you're constantly seeing the slander, and we are on the defense all the time. We can't get anywhere because we're constantly defending our honor. And I don't know about you guys, but I am tired of it. My life speaks for itself. My channel, for God's sakes, I lay my entire life on my internet channel. Like, there's very little that I hide, you know what I mean? Like, I keep my very personal stuff personal because, you know, well, heaven forbid you have a private life, but like, really, I'm very open, I'm very honest. Um, my sins and my discretions, my hopes, my dreams, my fears, it's all out there. Um, people don't want to listen though. See, this is the thing that I've learned in a year almost of YouTubing. It'll be a year in July. People don't want to listen. They want to believe you're a monster. Because if they have to change their mind on that one little thing and suddenly you're not a monster anymore, they have to change their mind on a whole bunch of things. And then they have to go through the process that I went through of dismantling their belief systems. And it's painful. It's really painful and really, really awful. So I don't blame them for not doing it. But ultimately, um, it kind of has to be done because society is being torn apart. And it's because of this nonsense and this unwillingness to just believe that your fellow man isn't awful. A trust in the government and no trust in our fellow citizens. How disgusting. Um, how utterly, utterly disgusting. So, I don't know, I don't have a lot else to say except stand your ground, you guys. Um, if you're a good person and you frickin' know it, you don't have to explain yourself to these people. Um, the reason this came to be is because I was asked uh, when I very first came out as a PPC candidate in uh, I guess it'd be May, for beginning of May. Um, I was approached on Twitter by tons of people immediately, vote splitter, anger and all that, and then um, it died down because that's how Twitter works, right? The outrage machine is heavy for you and then something more exciting comes along and then you know, something shiny comes along and then you get ignored for a while, which is great. Um, a guy came in immediately, oh yeah, Saskatchewan doesn't need more bigots, and we had a conversation about why he thought I was a bigot. We were getting somewhere, and then he saw that I was into the rebel, and then immediately he was like, oh, you're a bigot, I hate you. And it's like, well, you just liked me two seconds ago and then you saw that word association and now you hate me again? Like that's, this is exactly the problem in Canada. This is exactly the problem, right? You can literally get to know someone and, and, and find them to be quite nice and in, even friendships, right? Like this is where my mom's friendship with a 65 year old friend, right? Friends from, from toddlerdom um, and, and to lose that over politics, right? So like this does happen, it's real. And uh, to have someone not trust you, right, to trust a journalist or, or a government official over someone they know is good and has always been good to them is really sad. And when I talked to him about, you know, why we're not bigots, I said, you know, I'm going to make a video with this. I, I do a video series. I'm just starting up here on the, the PPC just to address some of the more common concerns, questions and criticisms of us. I don't like doing it on social media form. I want to do it long form, preferably in person, but a video is second best, right? So um, I wanted to do a video on this assumption that we're all bigots, which is a lie. And I tried three different times. I made three separate videos. I recorded them fully and I started editing them and I spent hours on this and I just kept feeling like, no, I can't put this out. I sound like I'm groveling. I sound like I'm justifying. And I, I why, why do I have to do this? Is this person even gonna listen? And, and I realized at the end of it all, like, no, they're not. <laughs> and the more time I spend on the defense, the less time I actually spend creating content and actually trying to be a good person and do good things in the world instead of just yelling about how I'm not a bad person. Who cares? Oh my God, they're gonna think I'm a bad person anyway. So what difference does it make? If you wanna know who I am, watch my channel. If you wanna know who I am, ask my friends. If you wanna know who I am, ask my family. If you wanna know who I am, open your fucking eyes. It's right here. You know, I don't have to say a word. And I don't have anything to hide. So I'm not gonna make a video about this. And if I do, it's going to be short and sweet, and it's going to say pretty much exactly this. But I'll have the PPC logo, and it'll be addressed in a PPC way, and I won't use the F word. And that's about it. Although, honestly, I don't feel like swearing at this point it makes people mad. I think lying makes people mad when it comes to politicians, and I will not be a dishonest, lying, scumbag politician, period. Nothing else. So, hope you're all having a good day. Just be good to each other. Not because the government tells you to. This is precisely why I ever coined this term in the first place. And I stand by it. This is absolute upside down land, you guys. And when people like Lindsay Shepard are getting demonized, we're all in trouble. She's sweet and kind. And if she gets demonized, we can all be next. Take care. Bye.